Hello, congratulations. You're ready to start phase one of your plan. There's no need to be nervous. This is the first day of your exciting life-changing journey. During this two-day preparation phase, your body's being gently prepared for the conversion of your metabolism. We're about to begin retraining your metabolism to react in a healthier, more balanced way so that your body begins to heal itself and return to its normal healthy weight. To help with this, it's important that your intestines are fully cleansed. This will also help lessen any feelings of hunger and cravings that you might have later. Only light meals are recommended for the first two days of your program. As you prepare for or while you're doing this phase, please don't hesitate to reach out with uh, any questions or concerns that you may have. You're starting something you've never done before and it's important that you feel confident about how things are going. Make sure you have your coach's phone number so that you can text if you have any questions. On the first day of your phase one, we recommend a thorough cleansing of the intestinal tract to restart your system. Every metabolic balance plan details a number of ways to do this, but there are typically two different choices of product that we regularly use. These products are Citramag or Calm. They're both magnesium cleanses. Citramag is a single dose bottle that you drink and is available at Rexall drug stores. This is similar to a colonoscopy cleanse. It works quite quickly and effectively, and it comes in two flavors, cherry or lemon. Calm is an alternative that is a little bit milder and is available almost anywhere. Calm comes as a powder in a fairly large container. You're going to mix 30 grams of it in hot water and drink that. Be aware though that um, you need to mix this into a large container. It foams up like a volcano and you end up losing about half of it. I mix it in a cup of hot water, but I use a five cup measuring cup to let it foam up. If you're suffering from any chronic bowel disease like Crohn's, for example, then you'll need to take a slightly different approach. Please speak to your coach about what approach to take if this is a concern for you. Here's an important note. For your comfort, please stay near a washroom on this day. You may be eliminating a number of times until the cleanse has completed its work. Your eating plan includes two options on how to complete phase one. I prefer the option on this slide as I find it's a better variety of foods through the day. I also feel it's a healthier cleanse. On day one, when you first get up in the morning, you'll take your choice of cleansing product and wait a half hour to let it clear out of your stomach. Drink water if you wish, but don't have anything else. After that half hour, you can eat half the amount of whatever you would normally have for breakfast. So if you'd normally have a two egg omelet, have a one egg omelet with only half the vegetables. If you eat two pieces of toast, just have the one piece of toast. Notice that the plan says without cheese. Cheese is a second protein, and if you've read your plan, you know that one of the eight rules is to only have one protein at each meal. For your lunch and dinner, you're going to split a kilogram of vegetables. To give you more variety, I usually recommend that you have a salad for lunch and a soup for dinner. That way, your evening meal is hot. At lunch, weigh out a total of 500 grams of whatever vegetables you want on your salad. You don't have to use the vegetables on your plan at this point. That starts in phase two. As a dressing, you can have salt and pepper and squeeze some lemon on it, or you can make an avocado dressing. To do this, the 500 grams of vegetables has to include some avocado. At this point, you can't have any oils or vinegar. So watch my video on how to make an avocado dressing. For dinner, I suggest a nice soup with soup type vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, celery, and add potatoes so that you can turn this into a cream soup by blending it with uh, an immersion blender or whatever blender you have handy. Now it's important that you leave five hours between each meal, which is rule number two. As I mentioned, you can have any vegetables you want at this point. You only start your vegetables on your plan when you start phase two. So a potato in your soup is just fine. You can boil your soup, uh, your soup vegetables in water or organic vegetable broth. Don't use chicken or beef broth. Use any herbs and spices that make this soup taste good. I like salt and pepper and some dill weed, but you can also use things like oregano, basil, and garlic. Remember for these meals, there's no oils or vinegars. You're now getting rid of the old toxic oils in your body to replace them with the good anti-inflammatory oils. I mentioned there's an alternative way for you to have your phase one meals, and that's shown here on this slide. 
Basically, you can opt to spend the day eating only one type of food. As you can see, it can be a fruit day, a vegetable day, a potato day, or a rice day. The vegetable day is similar to the one we just discussed, except instead of having half of your normal breakfast, you'd only be eating vegetables through the day. If you feel you'd prefer to follow one of these methods, I recommend that you speak with your coach first. There are a number of reasons why these methods may not be a good choice for you. For example, if you have an issue with candida, eating only fruits or starches all day could cause you some discomfort. You also need to keep in mind that you can use herbs and spices, but no oils, butter, or things like soya sauce, so potato or rice day could be a little bland. The vast majority of our clients use the previous method and have great success, but it's your choice. If you think the methods on this slide might be a better option for you, please speak to us and we'll discuss to see if it's a good fit for you. In your booklet on page 7, you'll find this little paragraph that talks about checking that your metabolic balance plan is genuine. Unfortunately, today's world is full of copycats who try to scam people with fake or counterfeit plans to make a buck. In order to protect you, Metabolic Balance assigns a confirmation code to every plan it produces. Should you wish, you can visit Metabolic Balance website and follow the links to insert your plan code and confirm directly with them that your plan is genuine and was developed specifically for you from your blood work. So let's recap. On day one, you take your chosen cleanse first thing in the morning and plan to stay reasonably close to the washroom for that day. Half an hour later, you eat half of your normal breakfast. You wait another five hours and then you can have your lunch. You should sip on water between meals and we encourage that you drink your suggested amount for the day. This will help clean you out and also help lessen any feelings of hunger that you might get. For lunch, have 500 grams of vegetables in a salad or a soup. Then continue to sip your water and wait another five hours after you finish your lunch until you eat another 500 grams of vegetables for dinner. During this first day, please stay in contact with us and let us know how things progress. We need to know if the cleanse is working. On day two, don't take another cleanse product. Just eat exactly the way you did on day one. Now, as for when to start your cleanse, I suggest you plan ahead for what day is best for you. You need a day where you can stay home and not have any important appointments or places you need to be. Most people do it on a weekend when they can stay at home. Also, pay attention, attention to upcoming holidays or parties. You want to be able to enjoy those before you start your plan. We're available to text anytime through the day, and you will have questions, so don't be shy to text us. We are here to help. We wish you the best of luck in your new journey.